Welcome to Rankin Inlet. You may have heard of this place, perhaps while researching its most famous son. You know, Jordan's story is an incredible story. I'm so very proud of him. He is really the face of hockey in Rankin, but we have so many great stories coming out of here. Today's a milestone for the town's 190 minor hockey players. Score for Granny. Sure. So, He's the goalie. Oh. <laughs> Not only is it the first day of the season, but the long-awaited opening of the community's brand new rink. It's also a big day for David Clark, Rankin Inlet's recreation coordinator and the mastermind behind the community's minor hockey program. So, who here is just learning how to skate? Growing up, I was really involved with hockey and I always had the opportunity every summer to, to travel with my parents. And one of the things I wanted to do was give that same opportunity to kids in my community. Not everybody gets the opportunity to travel and go to camps over the summer, so we came up with this idea of doing it at the beginning of the season and opening it to everybody who is registered with minor hockey free of charge for a one-week camp. And even on a Saturday afternoon, the Rock Hockey Camp brings its kids right back into the classroom. How tiring was it on ice today? Yeah. We consider literacy to be a very holistic thing where it can be embedded into everything you do in life. So helping children to realize that literacy is part of hockey and that by building those skills uh, within the classroom will actually help them on the ice as well. We are offering a program that not only teaches hockey but life skills, being good teammates and being good community leaders. From Williamson Lake in the center of town and later to the rink where Jordan Tutu got his start, Hockey's roots run deep in this fly-in only community. But the opportunity to travel south was the big key thing. It's hard to get out of town and every community had hockey teams. Hockey <laughs> While many Canadian families are having to make tough choices about whether or not to enroll their kids in minor hockey, that's not an issue here. A dedicated group of volunteers have fundraised enough to keep minor hockey registration fees to less than $200 per player. But it also takes a village. For instance, Rankin Inlet's municipality says anybody wanting to skate on their brand new $26 million rink get their ice time for free. In Rankin, people fundraise like crazy. They do raffles, penny sales, bake sales, you, you name it, they're out there doing it. You have parents that get together and fundraise throughout the year where they're raising at least $60,000 to send 30 kids down to the next city. Last year, the day before hockey camp, that was only $150, hockey camp, they had this hockey trading, equipment trading thing that you could have gotten everything that you needed. It was amazing. I think that's what the hockey family is, where you're putting the sport and your child ahead of yourself and working hard for their success. We are a hockey town. We want kids playing hockey. It doesn't matter which household you come from, how much money you make. This game will give you so much if you put the work into it. No matter how you look at it, the game of hockey changes lives in the North. It doesn't matter if you're Jordan Tutu, David Clark, or a six-year-old boy from Rankin Inlet, hockey's gonna change your life in a positive manner.